Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. It is December the 5th today of 2022, and I'd like to share another prophetic word with you from the Lord today. I hope you are all doing well and anticipating what the Lord has in store for those who love him and are called according to his purposes. Once again, i just like to thank those of you who are following my channels and also leaving positive, encouraging comments to these videos. My hope in sharing these words with you is that you would be blessed of the Lord. We all need encouragement in these days, and the Lord is speaking to us because he wants to encourage his people. As we know, the Lord has been speaking about better days ahead. He has a plan for this day and this time in history, a good plan for his church, and he is working out his plan. The Lord has been speaking about building his church and making preparations for his return and his millennial reign upon the earth. Some of you may be thinking, these events are far in the future. However, the Lord is giving us a heads up in this day. And so this is part of his preparation, is to make his people aware. And in a sense, to wake them up to the reality that he is at work to put these things in place even in this day. This word today is titled, The Takeover. And for those who have been following these videos, you know the Lord has been speaking about raising up his kingdom in the earth and taking down the kingdoms of the world and that that applies as well to his church, that he is building his true church and taking down the old structure, the man-made structure of the church, so that his true church would be able to rise up triumphantly in these times. And so in this word today, the Lord wants to encourage us that he is moving to establish his kingdom in the earth in preparation for his millennial reign. And though we know that there will be tribulation, the Lord is not centering in on that because that is what the devil is doing. He is centering in on what he is doing. I hope you will all be encouraged by hearing God's message to you in this day. I'll begin reading this word with scripture. Psalm 46, verse 4. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. This scripture verse speaks of a river, and this river of God described in other scriptures in the Bible, tells us that this river brings life. This river is the flow of God's Spirit flowing through the land to bring healing, salvation, and restoration to all those who receive of it. 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 through 11. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For to one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit. 
to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the ability to distinguish between spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are empowered by one and the same Spirit, who apportions to each one individually as he wills. This scripture passage speaks of the spiritual giftings God has given to his church, and though there are a variety of giftings, they all come from and are empowered by the same Spirit. Ephesians 4 verse 30 And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. This scripture verse tells us that we can grieve the Holy Spirit, that we can block the flow of God's river, and block the use and function of the spiritual gifts of God. And it warns us not to do that, not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Revelation 2 verses 4 through 5 But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember therefore from where you have fallen, Repent and do the works you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. This scripture verse is a warning to the church as well. The Lord is grieved when he is not the center of all that we do, that we are not his first love. And the Lord warns the church that does not put him first, that he will snuff out their lamp stand. Revelation 20 verse 6 Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. This scripture verse is telling us that those who continue to be faithful to the Lord will reign with him in his coming millennial rule upon the earth. I'll begin reading this word. Crystal clear are the waters that run from the throne room of God. They are like a fountain springing up from the deep. They contain life, liberty, health, and wealth, says the Lord. They are without lack. Ask anything and it will be granted to you. I will bring you into the free flow of my spirit. I will bring you out of hiding and into mainstream ministry. This is the day, a new day, a new beginning. I am thrusting my servants forth into ministry. Though they have labored in obscurity, their work shall surface to bring into being my millennial rule. Prophets of old longed to see this day. They longed to see the earth filled with the glory and resurrection power of the Lord. They sought for it, but it eluded them, for the time had not yet come for the fulfillment of these things. But now the time has come. I am awakening those who have gone to sleep. I am raising up those who had fallen down. I am resurrecting the saints, and they shall go boldly in to take the land by force. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess the reign of Christ. Sing hallelujah. Your God reigns. I have nullified the effects of the curse upon mankind, says the Lord. I have broken its power, and the people are coming out from under it 
into everlasting life. No longer shall a man be bound by the law, but he shall be released into the fullness of the Lord, into the full flow of the Spirit of God. I am just, and I have established my justice in the earth. I have provided my counsel. I have released a revelation of who I am to the people. Eyes are opening, and a full understanding is coming to the body of Christ. A transformation is taking place. All are being transformed into the image of Christ. All are beholding His glory. Soon they shall march out as an army across the land to take the land, possess it, and rule over it. This is the promise given to Abraham being fulfilled in this day, that a great nation would be formed who would inherit the promised land. It's been a long journey, but finally the saints have arrived. Finally they have come to the place reserved for them and prepared for them since the beginning. This is the day I am taking over. I am overthrowing the kingdoms of the world and establishing my kingdom rule. So sing, rejoice, express heartfelt praise to the Lord God, your Maker, for He has triumphed. No one and nothing is able to prevent my end-time plan to gather the nations to myself. No one and nothing is able to stop the flow of my spirit, says the Lord. Those who try to exalt themselves will be washed away by its power. I have established my pillars. They are built into the structure that I have been building. All others are powerless to hold up the structure I am taking down, that built by men. Marvel when you see the old come crashing down, for the new shall emerge in its midst to take priority. The collapse of the old structure is on its way, says the Lord. The whole building is coming down. Pillars are being pulled out, and the structure will not be able to carry the weight. I am blowing apart preconceived ideas about how the church should function. I am removing the lampstand from those who continually hold back my anointing. They shall dissolve and be no more. In their stead shall be a church fully participating in the spiritual gifts, for I have given them to the church for edification, says the Lord. And so in this word today, we see the Lord is once again addressing the man-made systems of the world, and especially the church. He wants his river to flow freely through the land, for the Holy Spirit to be poured out, for his giftings to be stirred up and used for the edification of the true church. And so he is telling us the old structure will come down to make room for the new structure and that this new structure will usher in his millennial reign. The Lord wants to fill the earth with his glory and with his resurrection power. And he is waking up his church to this new day a day promised to the saints of old, to Abraham who never saw the fulfillment of it. The Lord has his end-time plan in place, and he is moving his plan forward, calling his people into life and liberty in his spirit, and dealing with those who continually quench his spirit, who try to dam up 
his river flowing forth. He will wash them away in his flood waters. And so may we all be prepared to flow in what the Lord is releasing in this day. May we embrace the spiritual giftings and recognize God has given these to the church to benefit his church, to build his church up, and to make his church ready for his reign and rule upon the earth. I hope this word today has encouraged those who are hearing it. We are truly a blessed people when we embrace all the Lord has for us. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.